G'day everyone, today I'm going to be introducing you to a new lure, a new player on the market and that is the Dr. Twitch Minnow by Team Born to Fish. This one. Rightio folks, there it is. The Team Born to Fish Dr. Twitch Minnow. It's 70 millimetres long. It's a solid minnow, meaning that it's not a jointed minnow. It casts very, very well. I was very impressed with the casting, and I was even more impressed with the swimming. It had a nice wide sway through the water. It sort of, hard to explain, but it swam through the water really, really well. There was no issues at all with the casting, no issues at all with the performance. It's not jointed, but that doesn't matter. Most trout minnows aren't. I use one, a jointed minnow, a jointed trout minnow quite a bit, called a pontoon 21 tantalizer. I love it, but they don't need to be jointed. This is a solid minnow, and it worked very well. On the day that I used it, I didn't catch any fish. That's not the lure's fault. It was the last week of the season. The fishing was very slow. I had one fish follow it and sort of just nibble at it, and that was about it. So the fish were interested in it. But So I can tell you all about the performance of the minnow, but I just didn't catch any fish with it. I was exceptionally pleased with the performance. I was, in, I was pleased with how well it casts. Oh, a nice big open pool. Let's see how this goes, casting. Gee, cast very, very well. That's gone almost to the top end of the pool. I was very, very pleased with how well it swims and it suspends. So when the fish are following it and they're not taking it, you can pause it. It doesn't float up, it doesn't sink. It's suspended in the middle of the water column and enabling me to twitch it. Just twitch, twitch, and make it kick out on the sides. Just sit there motionless, but twitching like a wounded fish. And that, that really puts it in a class of its own. Right, now there's one thing I'm really liking about this lure. That is that it's very much got a neutral buoyancy, which means it's suspending. If I pause up there, it doesn't float and it doesn't sink. It just hangs, literally just hangs, making it ideal for twitching. That makes it ideal for when the trout are following your lures, but not striking them. You can stop, you can twitch, you can just pause it. Then twitch, twitch, pause, twitch. You can just impart so much more action into a suspending minnow. And, before I hook myself, and these are eight bucks each. So I reckon these are, these are an absolute cracker of a lure for eight dollars. Team Born to Fish Dr. Twitch Minnow. Well, yeah, now I'm gonna put a link in the video description below this video to where you can find Team Born to Fish, their website and their social media platforms, and uh, go and check them out. Now here's some footage of me using it the other day. Unfortunately, the fish didn't play the game, but you can see that it casts well and that it performed well, and uh, yeah, go and check them out. First cast, it certainly swims well. It's quite a heavy lure, it casts well, a little bit too well, straight into that wood reed. No, which is a goer. Let's see how this goes, casting. Gee, cast very, very well, that's gone almost to the top end of the pool. Is that a little rise up there then, just behind me, my lure just landed. I saw a few rings, I don't know whether a fish rose or whether a bird dipped down over the water. Follow it. Oh, you get it. So flighty at this time of the year. I felt a real, he only just sort of swiped it, and he just felt a little bit of resistance. He may come back, but I don't like my chances. He's come back, he's, he's come past me, I think. I can't see him because the water's not clear enough, but I think he's swam right down here. You can see all the mud's dirt up here. There we go, I just want to take off up past there real fast. You know, he's not going to hit it. He's, he's keen, but not that keen. Rightio, folks. Now, I've been using this Team Born to Fish, Dr. Twitch, for about the last hour and a half to two hours. I've only seen one fish. It followed it, it swiped it, it followed it twice, but didn't strike it, and that's all I saw. No other rises, no follows, no nothing. Didn't even spook any fish. I just don't think there's many fish in here at the moment. But anyway, I'm very impressed with the lure. Now, I'm going to go and uh, take a few notes so that I can put this review together.